It's great to be here at uh, CDK and check on the progress of, uh, of the new boat that we're affectionately referring to as 11-2. Uh, sometimes we get caught up in the moment, uh, sailing on 11-1, crossing an ocean, all this weather, all these storms, testing systems, and we forget that there's a, uh, you know, a boat being built here in, uh, in Brittany, which is great. This is the hull of the boat um, here in CDK Port La Ferre. The deck is being constructed at CDK and Lorient. When this is done and the deck is done, they'll be moved to the room next door and you'll see that along with some of the components that we've put our hands on, um, touched, field, looked at um, today. All of that assembly will happen just next door and the boat will launch actually at a travel lift um, you know, just around the corner. So keeping it all local here in this part of the world. So we are going to be measuring every step of the build process to understand what the full environmental impacts of the build are. And so we have um, an intern student from the local university who is working with CDK um, on recovering that LCA data so that we can get it into the tool and, uh, and understand what those impacts are. Um, here we've actually got the materials that are going back to the manufacturers. Uh, maybe we can have a look through the yard and have a look around and see what's going on. But one thing we do notice, obviously there's a lot of plastic here, but they're reusing these bags and when there's a hole out, when they peel that off and have to put another layer, a couple of layers of carbon down, they're recovering those bags. So um, we're already reducing a certain amount of waste here. Boat building at this stage is, is very waste intensive. Um, even the carbon can be recycled, however, and especially the pre-preg and some of the, even carbon off-carts can be sent back to the manufacturer. What we need to do is try and get that to a level of, to a scale which is relevant and valuable enough for those carbon recyclers. Uh, and so with CDK, with the other manufacturers, with the Amoka class uh, and other teams in the area, we're already having these discussions. How can we make this happen? Uh, this is one of the autoclaves where they basically put the whole com final component and heat it up to a certain temperature, quite a high temperature. It's one of the most energy intensive processes of modern boat building. Uh, and so this is where electricity, electricity consumption and where that electricity comes from has a huge impact. CDK is on a renewable energy tariff which significantly reduces the overall impact of the, of the company in the process. But these are the smaller components that each one needs to be laid up, designed and laid up. Um, and this spe specific one is the aft um, escape hatch. And so we, as a campaign, we've done two of these. One is the business as usual, this carbon piece, which was a component which was built here at CDK, and we've ordered another one from another company made out of flax. Flax is a, um, a material which doesn't have the same uh, properties as carbon, but in some ways it can be comparable for certain components. So what we want to do is compare weight, cost, um, the environmental impacts, uh, to understand where are the trade-offs and as we look at these components, where can we consider these alternative materials? Uh, two years ago, we started really to have uh, thinkings about how to reduce our impact in terms of uh, uh, waste and everything. And uh, arrival of uh, 11 hour contract boost. <laughs> this um, this uh, action we, we started uh, two years ago. And now we are very well organized, I would say, to, to select and to uh, recycle, I would say, 90-95% of our, of our garbage. Uh, five years ago we used to put everything in a, in a hole, uh, which is not <laughs> the best way to do. One point I discovered, and honestly I didn't know it would be like that, is that the more sustainable we are, and the less money we spend, which, which is a big surprise. We started, for example, a new uh, attitude with our main provider of prepreg, which is Gurit in Spain. And we try to initiate a, a new attitude with them, keeping all the card box, sending, sending back to them, for them to reuse the card box, to send back a prepreg to us. That's in the move, that's uh, happening. But one more time, it's uh, something like two or three thousand euros we will not have to, to, you, to spend during the year, which is little by little also. I think it's only important for 
the future. I'm 60 something now, then I'm quite uh, at the end of the, my career. Then it's important to leave something for the future generation, for our child. One of the final goals also is to, to be more sustainable in the reality, not just in the, the paperwork and the dreams and whatever, it's uh, real stuff. And um, for me the important thing also is to have a new image for CDK, stating that this shipyard is concerned, is acting and um, that the sustainability is uh, very important for, for us. And I'm quite sure that the future in the next years, customer will be sensible to that, I hope so.